In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a little competitive analysis slash campaign analysis custom report. So as you can see, I chose advent calendars for my main topics. As you know, it's almost holiday season and advent calendars are already selling. So I decided to compare how Sephora advent calendar, Ulta and Cold Beauty advent calendars are performing online. So for starters, I created three charts. Uh, they are the same, but one is for Sephora. The other one is for Ulta and the third one is for Cold Beauty. So what I did is I chose mentions over time chart and now I can see how advent calendars were mentioned over time um, for Sephora, Ulta and Cold Beauty. So for this, I used tags. Um, I tagged all Sephora, all Ulta and all Cold Beauty mentions with their respective tags. So in this case, you can see that I chose main dimension tag, and then I allowed Sephora advent tag to be included, and the sub dimension is time. So when I clicked save, I got this. And what I did next is I just cloned the chart two times, and then I changed the allowed tag in this section. So this is how I got this chart. So I created a basic share of voice chart, but with a little bit of twist. So I wanted to see how many times Cold Beauty, Ulta Beauty and Sephora were mentioned in the context of Advent Calendar. So as you can see, Sephora and Cold Beauty are a bit the same, but Ulta Beauty has little mentions regarding Advent Calendar. So what I did is once again, I chose the main dimension to be tag and chose advent calendar. And then for sub dimension, I chose feed. And when I clicked on that, I got my chart share of voice for the advent calendar. The next chart is a bit similar. It's um, not by number of mentions, but it's by the number of imp impressions. So as you can see, those two charts are a great overview of how the uh, each brand is performing regarding um, Advent Calendar. So the next three charts are actually so fun because we can see the sentiment for each Advent Calendar. Uh, so as we can see, uh, Sephora one has a bit of negative sentiment uh, called uh, as well, a little bit of negative sentiment, but Alta Advent Calendar is all positive sentiment. So how did I get these? So what I did is I went to edit chart and I chose only Sephora. So I removed um, these queries and I picked once again, uh, tag to be my main di dimension. And then I've put Sephora Advent tag. So this is a bit different because this tag is only applicable for Sephora mentions. And then for sub dimension, I chose effective sentiment and then I click, clicked on save and I got my chart. To create the other two charts, I just clicked on clone chart and then repeat the same process, but for a cult tag or for Ulta tag. The next charts are influencer charts, as you can see. So what I did is I chose the Sephora query once again. And for main dimension, I chose tag again, Sephora advent, but for sub dimension, I chose influencer. And then I got this chart, uh, which is a great overview just to see who is mentioning you the most and so on. You can play around with these charts. You can, um, create ones for reach, for sentiment. There's a lot of things you can customize in custom report. And then once again, I cloned the chart and created these two as well. The last charts that I have in my uh, competitive slash campaign analysis are top mentions by reach for each of these brands. 
So what I did here is I went, I created a chart and then I chose mention collection. And so how I got my mention collection in the feed, I sorted my mentions by reach. And then I chose top five of the, those mentions and I got my mention collection and now I can present it here. Um, I did this for the Alta and Cult Beauty as well. 